So peep this. 2020 has been the year of Mtale Mwanza and it feels like she's been trending the entire year for various reasons. She's been shown massive support by many and yet has been cancelled several times by the same people. This led me to find out what's behind Zambia's toxic relationship with Mtale Mwanza. Now, if you've been living under a rock for the past few years and somehow stumbled upon this video, let me briefly explain who Mtale Mwanza is. Mtale Mwanza is a 33-year-old Zambian media personality, entrepreneur, philanthropist, social media influencer and all-round queen. She holds a bachelor's degree in broadcast journalism and has had several positions in different media companies, most notably that of production manager at Ground Focus Productions in South Africa. She is currently popular for hosting a breakfast show on Hot FM and her outspoken nature has led some to dub her the controversial queen of radio. She has over 160,000 followers on Instagram and over 130,000 page likes on Facebook. Now, I'm not sure how far back Zambia's toxic relationship with Mtale goes, but my first encounter with it was regarding an adopted child. A video had surfaced on Facebook where Chitalut Shimba, the director of Vision of Hope, claimed that Mtale Mwanza had decided to adopt a three-year-old boy named Jeremiah. She was applauded for this move and I'm sure she got a lot of messages from ladies saying she was their inspiration. Not long after this, rumors started circulating that she didn't actually adopt the child and some claimed that this was a publicity stunt. Boy oh boy did the toxicity reign. But this wouldn't be the last we'd hear of Mdale Monzo. During an interview with Honorable Boman Lusambo on Hot FM, Mdale would do something that would gain her the respect of the Zambian people. For a short while at least. Mtala literally cut off the provincial minister after a heated argument regarding an Zambian musician, Biflo. This was such a boss move and one that will go down in Zambian media history for sure. In a country like Zambia, this was literally unheard of and though she was applauded by most, there were some that condemned her but you know, toxic relationships. Now. More recently, Mtalemonza has been trending because she had a hell of a 33rd birthday. On her birthday morning, she woke up to a Ford Ranger which was a gift from someone who remains anonymous. People receive cars for their birthdays all the time but when you're Mtalemonza, it's bound to bring a conspiracy theory or two. People speculated what or who was the source of the car with everyone having their own theory from the self-proclaimed youth advocate Kondwani Banda to everyone with a Facebook account and an ITO phone. But this wasn't the end of her super birthday, cause just less than a month after receiving the Ford Ranger, she would receive an even bigger gift. You guessed it, a Range Rover Evoque with the custom number plate MUT33. This drove social media nuts and every female was calling upon the god of Mtale Mwanza to bless them with luxury cars. But here's why I think Zambians are obsessed with Mtale. Firstly, she's bold and outspoken, something that most African ladies are not, so they kind of live vicariously through her and watch her every move. As unhealthy as this is, it's understandable. Secondly, Zambians are yet to understand just how many brands Mtale is attached to and the perks that come with being a brand ambassador. People are always pocket watching her because they don't understand how she has managed to get where she has at such a young age and this obsession just drives her numbers up. So kudos to her. But what do you guys think? Leave your comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I had to wake up early just to be sure that I wasn't dreaming yesterday when I received this. <laughs> Ah, my goodness. I need to take this baby for 